Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> This is the Ideas by Elliot podcast, sponsored by Camera Corner Studios, Yikes Salon, Trisha Nell Law, and Release Wire. I'm Elliot Christensen, and normally I spend my time working with clients on internet projects, websites, marketing, email, all the stuff they need to get their business found online. This is my chance to take a break and talk in depth with the most interesting people I know. There are no rules, there's no censor, there are no do overs. It's raw, unscripted, and never edited. This is episode number 17, Tommy TRC. In this episode, we talk about how social media has taken over our lives, how Twitter is dead, and how Tommy became a national marketing master. We have two great music tracks from Kurt Gunn, and while the music plays, run over to iTunes and Stitcher and give a rating and a review of the show. It helps other people find us. Uh, Kurt Gunn and the song is called What I Need. He has so many great songs. I love that guy. And I think that's off of Max's autographed CD. So even more sweet. So Ooh, autog- well, I didn't get an autographed CD. Well, you know, you got to know people. That's true. It's not who you know. I hang with Max. You know the right And, uh, you know, who's this mysterious voice that I'm listening to? You are... I am Tommy Clifford. How are you, Elliot? I'm amazing. Thanks for coming. Oh, well, thank you for having me in the studio here today. So uh, why the hell are you here? You know, that's a really good question. You... <laughs> You know, we've been we've been social media buddies for the longest time, yeah. and at one point, I think you put out a calling all cars. Well, I'm I'm doing something. Can you? Uh, I did. Can you? Can you sign up? And I wanted to sign up. I wanted to be a part of something great. So that's and, why I'm here. And so you uh, you decided on to, to second guess yourself and show up here instead. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's greatness in the making here. This is in phenomenal. the making is the key word. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We just got here. We just started drinking water. So that's it's right. early. It's early yet. <laughs> it, it's not even early. We should have, you know, more water than this. No, this is good. This is good. We're two minutes and six seconds into this bad boy. Wow. Well, you know, some of it was music. The, the, good, the good part was music. He's very observant, though. Picked up the clock. First first guest to well, recognize Mr. Producer it. said he was going to fix the time. The time was off. So we'll, we'll have to see. It's that. accurate now. Oh, it is. It's accurate. Yep. Okay. We're good now. Okay. Oh. It should say like 224. Oh. It does. I just Boom. got a text message that, that some, of the, some, some of the podcasts on the website are broken. Oh, no. So I've got to fix that, too. The one I listened to looks gonna, sounded great. I'm going to have a busy night. Mr. Oh. Web Host Expert. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you know, I have people that watch out for me. That's how, that's how, you know. I that's what you need. They make me look good. There's some very expensive services you can pay to tell them your <laughs> server's down. No, there's a free one I just heard about today. Great. So, yeah, I might check that out. Yeah. Uh, actually, it tells you if there's even, if there's changes, which is pretty Ooh. cool. So, Tommy. Uh-oh. Do we edit you okay? Out? I yeah, I just need to. Oh, no, there's no editing. There's no, no editing. This is going to be <laughs> complete raw and uncut. So all my all my ums and oohs and uh, 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 ab- yes. And if you uh, you didn't hear last time, but I am I'm counting my ums now. Are you? Yeah, out loud. Do you remember that South Park episode <laughs> where it was like they had cusses and they had like a little cuss meter in the bottom left hand corner? So every time they did. No, but that's a great idea, and I might have to steal that. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the S dash 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 word, and they have it at the bottom, and every time they say nice. it, and this kept rising, ding, ding, ding. That's great. Total. That yep. is great. So, uh, so, okay, so you mentioned the social media buddies. So, you know, like, tell me about that. 
Tell me about, like, uh, you've been on Twitter forever. I've been on Twitter forever. 2007. Uh, I can't yeah. believe it. May 2007, I signed yeah. up for it. Yeah, I think it was right around that, too. So, what, like, why did you do it? How'd you hear about it? Why are, why are you involved in it? Do you think it's still cool? Tell well, me. I initially signed up for it, and I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. Because I'm True gonna, that. I'm walking to the library. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Da, 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 da. It, it, it seemed more of a triptych than a conversational type of tool. So I really, I, I signed up for it and I just I thought this thing is just dumb. And it wasn't until the summer of 2008 that it started to sink in. I got sent to, uh, at that time I worked for a multi-billion dollar printer and they sent me to the middle of nowhere and I'm in a conference room and I'm kind of babysitting a project. They said, you have to be there, you have to pay attention. So I had my laptop open, <laughs> I, had, I had Microsoft Excel there and then I had the Twitter at the bottom and I was tweeting with my buddy Terry sitting across the room and it was exquisite <laughs> so we're, we're it looked like we're totally involved and enthralled with what's going on uh, and we're texting back and forth we're tweeting back back and forth that's too bad and then I started bringing people you might have been brought into the conversation who knows this is a long time ago right but we started bringing people into it and we go oh my gosh this is a communication tool this isn't just a I'm going to the bathroom tool this is an instant instant uh, type of thing and then I heard about a company who, you know, back in those days. Do you know what your first tweet was? I don't, but I could probably figure it out. I think there's a, like a website, myfirsttweet.com or something. So, so Twitter actually has that now. Does it really? I didn't know that. I have no I idea. It's probably stupid. It's probably, uh, it it's is probably starting my day, dot, 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 checking email and watching servers. That was what my first tweet was? Yeah. Oh, there you have it. There you have it. Um, so I was going to tell you, there's actually... I'm, I'm afraid to see what mine is. I haven't looked mine up. Well, in, you know, I'm in printing and pre-press, and there's a lot of big big equipment, and you companies were spending a lot of money trying to build systems to be able to communicate through people's firewalls. Sure. And I've actually heard of companies that use Twitter as that mechanism. You don't have to, you don't have to open any firewalls. So the system would just tweet when there's a problem. It would just tweet a code. And if you're the only person following it, then you, I mean, it's not like it's taking up a lot of traffic. So I thought that was a kind of a cool, cool way of cool. communicating your like error codes or things that were problems. I got to tell you what mine is. What's yours? I'm, just because I, it's on my screen, I think it's hilarious that his is almost the same as mine. Mine is, I'm listening to podcasts doing some server updates. 15th of March, 2007. Hmm. Nice. And was mine, was mine May? I, I, I didn't look. I didn't look. Listening to probably Leo Laporte, I, something I, I, yummy well, like that. Well, I'm sure. Because oh, yeah. that's what was out. Right? Oh, yeah. That's that's crazy that we're, <laughs> we said almost the same thing. <laughs> Two idiot, just idiots on parade here. <laughs> that, that's crazy. I never. I don't even know that. I, I had no idea. That's weird. So anyway. So communication tool. Firewalls. So communication tool. We're just, so I'm sitting in, across this board table and we're starting, and then it started to sink in. Okay, I get this. And then I start, you know, talking to people in Las Vegas, talking to people in, in England or India. And it's like, oh, my gosh, this is, like, really cool. This is becoming something that is really taking the barriers away from my communication. Yeah. My friendship pool is now growing. But it really wasn't until the birth of my son that things really just got totally amped up. Yeah. And so uh, Drew – was on his way and we had a scheduled delivery kind of deal because it was a uh, what, induced is that the term proper you had to be induced yeah, yeah so my sweetheart shows up and they got a full attentive staff taking care of her I had nothing so I had my phone I had nothing did you need a staff to take care of you no but it, <laughs> no that didn't come out the right way she has a staff I have my laptop and my phone to keep me company. So I decided I was just going to tweet, you know, here's my chair, here's dad's chair, you know, wife's getting the IV, da 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 Nice. And pretty soon I started getting tweets from the local TV station, hey, I can't wait to see the birth of Drew. Go, what are you talking about? The next thing I know, here's a knock on the door and it's some, you know, butch lady and she comes to the door she says Mr. Clifford you're making a lot of commotion I said what do you mean I'm making a lot of commotion all the weeping and wailing's going down the hall I mean my wife's asleep she says oh you don't understand I said what do you mean I don't understand she says well you're tweeting our marketing department picked up on it then our PR agency picked up on it they pitched it to a TV station and they're sending a news crew down here <laughs> Without asking you? Oh yeah, totally. This uh, this all this wheels going on. 
And I'm thinking to myself, and it, it, you know, and I'm, I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not brilliant, but I think checking with you is secondary, even to you know, checking with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, then she goes, she goes, I need to talk to your wife about this. And then I, then I said, okay, come on in. She goes, alone. <laughs> I said, oh no! So I'm sitting in the hallway. <laughs> So I'm just like sitting there sweating, going, "Okay, there's a new crew, news crew on the way. I need to spend time with her." Da, 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 da. And say, "Okay, so Becky says everything's cool. Thankfully, she is the coolest person in the entire world. So she says everything's cool." And then doctors in there, everybody's in like total pole position. And there's another knock at the door. <laughs> news crew lights the whole thing, and thankfully, before I could say anything, they go, "We know what's going on. We're going to be down the hall." You'll know when the time's right. Come and talk to us. Okay, so I went back in. I mean, it was like it was like a split second. So I get back. Everything's awesome. And there's mommy baby time. And then there's, you know, dad needs to go, you know, call the parents and stuff. So I made some phone calls. And then I went and did a, did a cool interview. And it ran you know, twice in Green Bay. And I think it got picked up in the Milwaukee market. And the rest is history. It's crazy. Is totally crazy. crazy. It is. It's totally crazy. So when when was that? That was back in two thousand nine. Okay. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Baby Drew. Wow. If, if you search for Tommy T R C and yeah. Baby Drew. So like that rings a bell now, but I I guess I sort of that kind of escaped me. Well, and there's a whole backstory to it. So I'm good friends with with uh, Lisa Cruz at Red Shoes PR. Yeah. And uh, so we had been friends before that. And I knew that they were a PR firm of a hospital, but I didn't realize that they were a PR firm of that hospital. Oh, nice. So they were all part of this whole whole process. Oh, he'd love that. So <laughs> I can just imagine. <laughs> so while this is all going on, they're having like a meeting in the boardroom of the hospital. And as the story goes, the president of the hospital says, shut it down. Shut down the whole thing. Cut the internet access the whole nine yards. And Lisa's going, what are you talking about? He's not doing anything wrong. Was it? And... They were worried because they couldn't control the message, sure, as absolutely. big companies do get that way. So here we are, la la la. Lisa talks him off the wall, and they just got humongous free press out of the whole thing. I mean, every time the video played, I mean, they, you know, they're in front of St. Elizabeth's Hospital, da 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 da, and I think it was a great learning lesson and growing lesson for everybody involved. But I think even the bigger thing is the fact that there's a lot of people – I didn't set out that day to do anything more than to take a darn picture and to just kind of chill on my chair and have a baby, obviously have a baby. <laughs> Everything else just happened. Right. There's a lot of people who really try to force it. Well, I want to do this. I want to send this thing viral. Yeah. You can't do it. You can't do it. You just do your thing and let other people find it great. If you think, oh, I'm just going to get – I. I there's a lot of people that need a lot of diet shampoo in this life, and they just need to realize it's not about you. Just do good stuff, and other people will take it farther. Nice. Are you getting that? Are you writing that down? Uh, I made a couple of notes, but I had to reply to a uh, text since uh, since it did beep loudly. <laughs> and probably, I don't that's, know. that's a frequent theme on the show. Also, the phones going off <laughs> that I, that I that I forget to turn my oh, volume. So he can off. hear now. Now he can hear. Before oh, he wasn't yeah. able to hear. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Producer, he, he is could, Mr. Producer on the line though? Is he, he part of the? Is he, he yeah, I'm on the show. He, oh, you could, are? He, could, he could hear. He could hear. He's just he's lying to you. Everyone's he, listening to me. Everyone's listening. Mr. Producer, yeah. I like that, Mr. Producer. <laughs> no, nobody calls him that. I know. I <laughs> That's okay. I'll take it. Right. In the room <laughs> behind the glass door. It beats being called Saint Nicholas, I guess. Eh? It's it's hey, you know, titles are titles. <laughs> okay, so so that's two thousand nine. So that yeah, it's two thousand nine. So, uh, you know what? Where from there? Oh my god! Because now now you're a Twitter celebrity. Well, I don't know about that, but you know, it was just one of those steps that you start doing that, and you start speaking about it, and then people start thinking that hey, he knows what he's talking about when I really didn't, but I figured out what I was talking about. There's, social media scares a lot of people. They think, oh my gosh, I'm going to screw this up or I'm going to say something stupid. And there, you know what? There's a lot of people who are social media professionals yeah. that say stump, s stupid stuff. Well, you say stupid things once in a while. I do say stupid things all the time. But you think I didn't say all the time. He said all the time. He said all the time. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> got the scoreboard I, going. I uh, completely admit the fact that I say stupid stuff. And I, it it's a lot easier if you admit it. Because then you come to terms with the fact that you're just going to be an idiot, right? I, you know, I, uh, I'm usually an idiot. So 
this is this is no surprise to me. It's what surprises me is that everyone doesn't know that. <laughs> Everybody so, who knows me is I mean, I'm, I'm an idiot, and I'm, I'm know, okay with that. No, 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 I, no. I'm saying that, that I am. You know, like I'm an idiot on the microphone. I'm an idiot on the Twitter. I'm an idiot on the Facebook, and uh, people will point that out. And I'm like, e- you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's, there's Thank, the, thanks for the enlightenment. Master uh, of the I, obvious. I uh, yes, master of the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, so so people did start asking you to speak. So where like where where did you go around speaking? Oh and, my gosh. You know, like, uh, you know the let's see. You know, a couple chamber groups. I've been down to Milwaukee. I've been to Las Vegas. I've been um, different different venues. I mean, because you start speaking in front of people, and then that breaks down barriers of the oh my gosh, I can speak in front of a large audience. And then right. and then I uh, for work, I was became president of a, a users organization. So then I'm now I'm speaking in front of six hundred people. It might not be just about social media, but it's it's one of those things that kind of breaks down barriers and takes me to a place that I wouldn't have gone. So you became better at your job. Oh, absolutely. Oh, are you kidding me? Social social media has broken down some significant walls, significant walls. So uh, did you rub at elbows with like anybody that? You know, you wouldn't have expected to. Did, I mean, you so you, you know you, I, you threw out like, oh, I talked to people from England and blah, blah, blah. you know. So, is there anywhere that you know that was surprising to you? What is surprising to me? I th- th- yeah. This is this is this is one that's uh, rather uh, notable. Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't know if I pronounced his last name. Gary V. On, I think on Twitter. I think everybody knows who you're talking about. I love Gary. Know who he is. I yeah. love Gary V. Yeah. I love his audio books. Have you ever listened to any of his books and audio books? His first book makes me crazy, and I want to listen to it over and over again. And I think it's fantastic yeah. how he. That's record- the only thing I can listen to on the treadmill. <laughs> how he recorded it after the printed version came out, and he adds little asides. I think that's fantastic. Yes. And I love Gary. And here's because- something that's after the book got published. Yeah, it's great. And I, I really like Gary because. You know, I don't know if I could tweet him right at this very moment and had him reply. He replies to that to a lot. He exactly, He's a maniac. He does, and I think that's fantastic. You're not going to get – chances are you're not going to get a reply out of Donald Trump. You're not going to get a reply out <laughs> yeah, of – Do you want to? <laughs> but, you know, there's people that have, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of followers and aren't going to be able to reply. You're not going to reply to Kim Kardashian. She's not going right. to reply to you. Right, right. But Gary did, and that makes him genuine, and I think that's fantastic. He is genuine. He's a lunatic. I don't even understand how you can – there just becomes a point where you can't replicate yourself. So, I mean – There's only 24 hours in a day, and yeah. I have no idea how he does it all. And I think and I think it's – maybe it's not always him. You know, Maybe he has some way to arbitrage that stuff, but right. like, I think it is mostly him, which is crazy right. talk. Right, and he's, he's just a content ma- maniac, and that's fantastic. So, you know, you got to meet me. You oh, got, absolutely! You got to meet Gary V through the Twitter. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. You, any anything any like anybody else that you think is uh, super interesting or interesting now or what you know we actually I'd li- I would like to talk about more about Twitter you know in the everything is interesting that. now. I mean, yeah. for instance, uh, a week and a half ago, actually let's take it let's take it four weeks prior. So four weeks ago, I got an email from the Atlanta Convention and Travelers Board. Yeah. And said. Hey, what are you doing uh, October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd? We'd love you to come down for a social media summit. Nice. We're bringing in 65 of the top social media influencers. They consider me an influencer. And you get to rub noses with some of the best. Nice. Okay, this is kind of cool. And so, you know, I might check out my email. What did he fall? Oh, he brought drinks. Oh. Uh-oh. Liquid refreshments here. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this is good. Oh, oh boy. Water. We have trouble arrived. Mm-hmm. I see a green bottle. Oh, oh boy. No green for me. <laughs> oh, goodness. San Pellegrino. <laughs> no, this isn't going to end well, I can tell right now. Uh, I, did, I, I did not know this was coming. So That's fine. I'm, I'm more surprised than you are. I have a text message. It's so different. Ah. I didn't say that. I thought that was after. Yeah, you said after. Okay. After. Hi, I'm Tommy. This is during. I'm Robert. Hey, Robert. <laughs> uh, Robert's in the house. <laughs> Robert is in the house. So, Toledo. Yeah, People we're not. See, we're not live streaming, so I won't. I won't even get any uh, uh, bad text messages about that. <laughs> No yeah, she won't find out until months after this, no, or weeks. I, well, or, or minutes. I'm sure she'll find out somehow. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry. We digress. So no, you're no, in, no. You're in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. So let's just stop for a quick second. So how is a guy in Atlanta, how is he considered a social media influencer, and how does the whole baby thing link up? So let's continue our discussion yeah. there. Let's, because it's all, it's all going to come 360. Really? So- 
2009, after Drew was born, I started thinking to myself, okay, a little bit about me, father of five. I have three kids with my first wife when she liked me. Now I have two more. Okay, with a, with a, with a new sweetheart. That's forever. And so I thought to myself, you know, I got to see, you know, the my three shorties, that's what I call them, uh, once every other weekend. What's going to be my legacy for them? And how do I... How are they going to know their father? What's it? What's this all going to be about? So I decided to start doing. I built a website called Tommy Log, where I start doing little inspirational videos. Just you know, just words. So that was in two thousand nine. Yeah, it was way. That goes way back then. It totally goes way back then. Wow. Okay. I mean, I got eleven hundred of them on there. Yeah. And so I started doing one a day. Then it kind of slipped. Then it kind of slipped. But sometimes it's two or three a week. But just you know. Kind of little things. I have a, a actual little, little cool little app on my phone. I just keep track of what the topics are going to be, and and it's kind of progressed. Just would like do it on lunchtime, and so then a year and a half ago, I got a phone call from the corporate communication office at Verizon. Say, hey, we like what you're doing. When did that happen? Gosh, a year and a half ago, maybe yeah. almost two years ago. Yeah, that's when I first started hearing about it. And so, yeah. they said, you know. You know, we like what you're doing. Go, what am I doing? Well, I like your videos and I like your vibe. Okay. And, you know, what if we were to, have you ever been an influencer before? I go, what's an influencer? And I said, well, we. You should say yes. Uh, well, see, I didn't know. <laughs> see, there's a lot of people who do this for their own own good or their own, you know, who are kind of self-centered on it. And I haven't ever been that way. I just, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Really? Really, Tommy? And so. Mm. They said, I don't know, man. They said, we're going to send you some product. You just got to talk about it, say good things about it, say whatever you want. And then and I said, really? You're going to send me technology and all I have to do is talk about it? So that's when I created Tommy Log Tech. Nice. And I actually have like a little video studio in my in my basement. I got the lights. I got the green screen backdrop, the whole the whole thing. And we just now we do videos in the basement and just like do little reviews. And now it's gone. It has, it's not just Verizon, but it's Verizon, Motorola. Uh, Microsoft. I Ford. think they should have to pay me for this, right? Right, Nick? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. we'll get a little cut. Yeah, get, they, I, think they, I, th- I think they have to What's kick in. What's the margin on Verizon phones? You don't get anything on the phone. <laughs> you get, you get, oh, jeez. You know what? Oh, oh gosh. I, I am not allowed to say, but I will gladly tell you off the air how it works. That's fine. I'm just works. busting your chops. Because care. that is an amazing amazing story oh i'm sure opening I, the cell phone oh, I'm part sure the of the whole, business i'm sure the whole cell phone thing is just a racket it's got to be the biggest racket it, it, it uh, there's so many layers to that i'm I, sure I, oh, yeah. that that's exactly the word to use is layers yeah it's it's there's money I, all the way i'm down. not going to say anything layers. positive or negative no, i'm just going to say just complicated the whole thing oh I, yeah <laughs> i'm sure it's totally complicated mr producer okay yeah. so so now i'm considered an influencer People are finding me. They're finding me. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I don't have like an agent. I have nothing. They just send me an email. But hey, you Mitchell, do now. I do not have an agent. Ooh, there's a job opening. <laughs> That'd be really cool. I mean, I, I've thought about. Well, how do how do I'd I be a good agent? How I'm do I saying. leverage it? You know, get ten percent of whatever the cut is. You know, um, or thirty. I mean, they're so. <clears throat> so I got a. How about twenty two point six? Hi, didn't miss a beat. See, are says, we mid negotiations see, right now? See, he says he, he claims he's not a professional. I'm so not, I'll do twenty five. Uh, this is all accidental. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, the guys who have the accidental tech podcast—that's the hugest tech podcast there is. <laughs> there you are. See. <laughs> so, back to the Atlanta thing. They call me up, say, "Hey, would you be willing to come?" I said, "Uh, sure." You had me at hello. What do I have to do? Nothing. Show up at the airport. There will be tickets there. Da, 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 da. We'll take you from the airport to the hotel. Did and they wind you and dined you, diet coked you, and we went to the Atlanta. But then we went to the <laughs> diet coked you. <laughs> Is that another sponsor? <laughs> do I have to be? Do I have to? Are these are these. They, <laughs> see, there need to be checks. I can give you the address where they can send them. They need to send checks. <laughs> PO Box sixteen hundred yeah. Monroe Avenue. Well, I mean, I, there's a separate one for fan mail, so I like to keep those. Oh separate. yeah, yeah, because yeah. you don't want to intermix. Because oh my gosh, the fan mail. I see the. Big Big tubs of fan mail right here. I'm surprised Green. I said there was a big semi backing up boop, 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 with all the fan mail coming in. Well, I guess you could say the beer delivery is kind of like fan mail. Oh, it that's is. right. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll take a beer delivery over uh, all of the buckets of fan let mail. The re- let no the record- offense to all of those <laughs> bucketeers that have submitted fan mail. Mr. Producer, just for the record, what's Tom Clifford drinking? 
Uh, that is water. Okay, thank you. I just want to make and sure. And for yes. the record, Mr. Producer, what did I have until Robert came in with his water. bucket of water? Yes, <laughs> water. That, that used to be water in your hand. Now it is something in a it bottle. Is, it is a, an Ale Asylum Hopalicious, and they will also be getting a sponsor bill. There you are. <laughs> Got to get those invoices out. Oh, my there gosh. There you are. Absolutely. The laser printers. You need new, more toner for the laser printer. For the HP laser printer. Good problem to have, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. So I'm in Atlanta, and we're having... Uh, I'm being taught by uh, one Twitter follower. Her name is Adventure Girl. She's got like 1.2 million uh, uh, followers. And I'm thinking to myself, how does this happen? How does this happen? How do we get all these people in a room? And we actually had a uh, seminar put on by the social media agency that brought us in here. And they showed a couple slides with all their slides, slide right, a couple PowerPoint uh, deck on the deck there um, of all the logos of the companies they work for, with. KLM, did it, did it, Fiji Air, did it, did it, did it, did it. I mean, it's like 30 or 40 really huge things. And he said, you know, you guys were all handpicked to be here. You're all lines on a spreadsheet. We created a web page for each one of you, and we looked at your picture and your bio and your engagement. Because I always said, you know, what, what the hell am I doing here? What am I doing here? I'm just a guy. just a poor white guy from Appleton, Wisconsin. You know, I, I tweet a little bit. I do some videos. What do they want out of me? <clears throat> I was only one of four guys there. I mean, it was, this is a total estrogen fest. A lot of mommy bloggers, and I was a daddy blogger. Right. And, and then it kind of hit me of what a amazing kind of, they want it to be grassroots looking, but the gentleman posts a, a picture of the ad, um, what one edition of People Magazine costs at a quarter page ad. That's right. Like, it was like 60 grand. Oh, at least, yeah. yeah. And he said, this has got 1.7 million impressions. And he said, in the room, What's your Twitter following? What's your Twitter following? What's your Instagram following? Did it, did it, did it. He goes, yep. I got like three or four million impressions right in this room right at this moment. Right. And then they brought it. Then they said, well, then we break this down to a cost per thousand. And he said, I could spend this 50 grand so much better having you guys come here. I can get sponsors. They had this, 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 this. My money's better spent having you guys come than it is to put that ad in People Magazine. And then he goes, let's talk about New York Times. And he did the exact same thing. So why isn't Twitter putting this kind of thing on? It's a good question. You know, because Facebook, they're they're sort of on top of that. You know, mm-hmm. Facebook, they 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 br- they're bringing in news sources, and they're like, they, I mean, they they know that they know their they know that their uh, their power is in their not just their network and in their their information gathering, which is crazy, but it's also in these vested interests that want to get their message out and so i wonder if that has more to do with how twitter is and the fact and and the type of medium it is where facebook you mean chaos well facebook is more or twitter's real time this is happening real chaos. time facebook's real time too <clears throat> it is real time but you can but there's an easy mechanism to look back at what people had said or look back at pictures or look back at people periods of time and maybe it's more encapsulated where facebook might be a scrapbook but twitter is just a big old big old feed that just keeps going going you got to look back at the ticker tape to look back at what what had happened because things just you know stock ticker because things just go by so quickly because you have too many friends Way too, too many, many you know, pe- people that you're following or whatever. You I know. know. I need to. Pur- I need to purge. There's some people I just don't like anymore, but there's people I do. I, like. Well, I noticed that he unfollowed me. That's I did funny. not. I did not unfollow you. I unfollowed <laughs> Nick though. Probably. Just your producer got unfollowed. Well, I don't know why. Well, I mean, he. Uh, he I don't cra- use my accounts anymore. He was crabby. Yeah, I mean, so I. I actually feel like. Uh, uh, not to not to go in a different direction. No, are we doing? But, is this any good? I don't even know no. if this is any good. Uh, well, what? I, I, no, it's horrible. <laughs> okay, you're good. At least you're honest. At least you're, you're honest you're good, yourself. But um, to me, the differences between Facebook and Twitter are uh, much like much smaller than their similarities now. And I think Twitter wants to move them even closer. So does Twitter, for that matter, or uh, uh, both of them. Facebook and Twitter want to, you know, they, they, they want to encroach on the other's ground. Oh, sure they do. So, and I feel like Facebook, not only do they have more money, but they have more ability to. Uh, I, th- I th- feel like they have. They're executing better on that. 
So I kind of feel like uh, Twitter is sort of an uh, echo chamber where people that are really into it, uh, I think, are not noticing that everybody else is gone. I think Twitter's made some stupid moves. Yeah. Well, did you see what happened yesterday? They laid layoffs. off eight percent of their layoffs. staff, the and the layoffs. people found out. They some people found out via <laughs> by Twitter the twi- by the tweet. <laughs> That's they, found, real. Wow. they found out when their Twitter yeah. account got disabled. That's, that's real. Jack tweeted out and he linked to the SEC filing for the layoff, you know, because they're a public company. They have to file the, you know, layoff at the SEC. Well, then uh, so. some somebody said, post a picture of a, uh, of his Twitter account. You've been, you know, your, please enter your password. And it says you've been, you know, it, it's, so his, his at Twitter.com, uh, his Twitter account was linked to his at Twitter.com email address. So he had been shut down before work started. And so he found out via Twitter that he was out of a job. Wow. That's brutal. That is, that's worse than brutal. That's horrible. I can't even imagine that. Um, but, I mean, on the other hand, so they, maybe they did have too many people. What were they doing? I have no idea. I mean, so, they I, were, I no so, so you know, Jack got named CEO last week, right. two weeks ago, something like that. This is going to be in November. So, I mean, this, I know it's ancient history by then. But, um, but then they released Moments. I, what what is that? That's stupid. I don't get it. I don't, okay, good. So I like not, moments, so it's not just me. But you have to use the Twitter app. Do you use the Twitter app, Tommy? Sometimes I use the Twitter app because sometimes people will send me pictures and they won't show up in Hootsuite, which I don't know why. Okay, which why well, I, I use uh, Tweetbot, which has everything. Now. Sure. Yeah. Um, another thing I don't get is that Twitter put a lot of energy into shutting down other people's franchises that right. were tying into it. Right. And so in that way, they're like the whole picture thing. I mean, you look at like Instagram, yeah, Buku Bucks, right? But then you look at like, well, Kodak had that thing, uh, like their Easy Share Gallery years ago, and that was worth like a dollar two ninety eight. But then right. Instagram is worth a billion, for, right? A billion. They got bought by for a billion, I think, by uh, Facebook, right? Another good idea we didn't have. You and me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I had that idea. Ideas are worth a billion dollars, it turns out. You don't have to execute on ideas. Just the ideas. But then Twitter shut down TweetPick and different stuff because they were encroaching on the name. It's like, come on, seriously? Well, I think they bought TweetPick, didn't they? I don't know. Yeah. I I mean, so, I mean, they could buy them. I mean, so that's what Facebook did. They bought bought Instagram. They're like, we want in on that. But, uh, you know, Twitter could have been Instagram. Oh, absolutely. Like, I mean, that's where I, you know, I, I'm sure you did too. Like, that's where I posted my pictures. That's mm-hmm. where I used TwitPic all the time. So right. then that got shut down. And I'm like, oh, well, that made me not want to post to Twitter right. so much. Right, right, right. And they're making it, and Twitter's making it more difficult because if you post an Instagram yeah. picture, doesn't it? You don't actually see the picture in your feed, and they're right. They could totally have co-opted that. <clears throat> they did not. They could have been very cooperative. Yeah. Cooperation, by being, cooperation. Well, so by being cooperative, they could have co-opted it. I mean, right. because uh, ultimately, like, you want to be where your friends are. And if you already have all your friends on Twitter, you don't want to go start a new island somewhere else. Right. But they're losing. And I don't know how you stem the loss. And I don't know that they know they're losing, but they're losing. I think they are, too. Let's talk about the cooperation thing for just a second. Mm. Let's bring it. We're going to go back to Atlanta. So, so before we do that, do we have a teaser? Have a sponsor break? Teaser. What are we, teaser? What are we teasing? Uh, we're going to come back we'll, we'll, to Atlanta? We're, we're teasing Atlanta because it's so fascinating. Okay. Uh, I think it is, actually. Because um, I'm like, uh, you know, if, we're, if there's going to be a terrorist thing, why, why, why didn't they blow up all these guys? <laughs> All the influencers? Wait, yeah. Man, how did this get terrorist? What, well, what you know, I'm thinking, thing? like, isn't that kind of dangerous to have all it's these these very influential people all in the it's same room? Anyway. Oh, I don't know. Just I mean, south in a second. So, so it went dark. We did go it's, dark. It's a very dark show. It did. The alcohols came in and then the dark. No, this, oh, what? This is going to take me three hours to drink this. Mm-hmm. So. Wow. Well, well, three only, hours? <laughs> he, only, he only brought me seven of them. <laughs> wow, oh, Gordon. I thought you were referring to the one bottle you held up when you said three hours. <laughs> I, well, that's what I was referring to. But. Okay, oh, no, oh, here we go. Oh, this isn't going to end oh, well. Boy. You know what? You can't. We, we you can't do shots during a sponsor break. <laughs> <laughs> we might need to reconsider our sponsor situation See? here. You're, you're ruining mm. things. Robert's ruining things. Oh, Robert I don't drink, so Robert, there's no reason to. Even Robert the ruiner. No, okay, Robert the ruiner. <laughs> Way to go. Way to make me look bad again. I didn't make you bad. Thank you you, looked, you made you, yourself look bad. I didn't have anything to do with it. <clears throat> well, technically, you just sound bad because no one can see this. Right. The you selfies know, have been taken. 
That's true. You know so, what we should do is we should have the Mac up here and we should blab this thing. So we should do it on. So a it's blab. sort of like my niece when she's saying, "I'm totally at a party," and everybody's like, "No, you're at home. I know you're at home. Right. Why are you making that up?" Yeah, we could be making the party up. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so our sponsor, of course, is Camera Corner Studios. Absolutely. And yeah. uh, say whatever you want on that, Tommy. But uh, no, I love but when, but when you came in, you made a comment, and I, you know, say it for the. The listeners. I said, man, green screen. There's a lot of technology in here. I thought this was really cool. This is a yeah. neat little, neat little space to be able to sit down, comfy chairs. Yeah. And we have Mr. Producer here who's helping us out, and so thanks uh, Ryan and company for uh, all they're doing for us. Absolutely. Can't argue with that. And Nick, Nick does all the work. I mean everything. Not this, only is he good looking, he take he does all the technical. Well, stuff I don't know. Too. I, don't I don't know what that's about. I don't know about that. I, I mean, he, he, he's. You know, maybe that's where we get all the listeners. They're hoping, yeah. hoping we go video. They're just you... waiting for this voice. <laughs> yeah. they, they're just waiting for If we voice. go video, I'm in the control room, so uh, they still aren't going to get to see no, me. No, they totally you didn't. You can they, put yourself in the little corner. Yeah. We can see your face, Nick. I guess. They put the producers on, like, late night and everything. Oh, yeah. I, could, I could put a camera in here, but that's extra wires. And Remember, like, the Howard Stern show? I mean, you know, Baba Booey, the producer, he's always yeah, in there. That's he true. Always, he always Absolutely. gets in the skit. That's true. So, I don't think Elliot is Howard Stern, though. Sorry. Uh, um, thank Whoa, you. wait a minute. Wow. Ouch. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Elliot is better than Howard Stern. Thank you very Ooh, little. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Twitter war. So, the, you, you know, are, I'll, I I'll suck g- at sponsor spots. I'll give my spiel. That's fine. You're doing a great job here. Uh, I they're haven't generous. shut you down, however many they're episodes we're in. So, so before, before you take over, Nick, so... I would not be doing this without Nick. I, you know, I might have recorded one or two, and then I'd be like, this is too much work, and I quit. But... I got started. Lots of people like Tommy got on board and said, "Hey, I want to be I want to be on your show. That sounds cool." And I'm like, "There isn't even a show yet and people are saying they want to be on it. That's sort of weird." And then Nick rescued me. He's like, "So, do you have any idea what you're doing?" <laughs> and I said, "No, not really. Can you help me?" And he said, "Yes." So, thank you, Nick. And and uh, go ahead and tell Absolutely. people how they well- can- you know, this, the studio is here for exactly that type of a situation. You know, whether you have ideas or whether you need ideas, we can help out whether it's, you know, a small marketing budget that you need to make some commercials or you need to make a radio spot or you need to make a YouTube video. And maybe you don't have the expertise or the ideas or the equipment. We can help in whatever capacity you need. So, uh, you know, I, I like to say uh, we start really really inexpensive and we can go up to considerably more expensive depending on your needs so so what's exciting to me and i I don't want to interrupt is if i if i do a website for somebody and like everybody wants video now right they all want video and they could they could get out of here for less than 500 bucks with a video oh easily Absolutely. I mean, my, my average spend right now for, for most of my customers, they'll come in and use the room for an hour. Most of them are using my talent. Most of them are using my equipment. But it's all a la carte pricing. So you, you take what you need. But my average customer right now will come in, spend about an hour, make two or three YouTube videos that they're going to do delayed release over the next month. And they spend an average of about three hundred dollars so that's awesome that doesn't yeah. include the price of the dancing girls though that's extra talent's uh, extra don't say anything. right <laughs> don't say anything about dancing girls please what? i don't i don't mind <laughs> the, the, so that was started by another person we had here this is not the body shop it's close uh, to where the body shop yeah. was someone keeps saying this is where the body sh- it's where the body shop was it's not technically the is. parking lot next door yes. is where the body shop was yeah. but close and i didn't know I, I i didn't really know either i've i never actually went in there never, i have no idea what you guys are referring there. to there was a place that was down here near here and oh, got torn down one of those and places. it just just serendipity they had dancing girls uh, I, I guess you know I you heard. happen to say the trigger word oh. but you know the the idea again is is let me know what you want to do and we can help you find a way to do it. You know what yeah. we should do? And uh, You guys are problem we'll, solvers. We'll, we'll talk about this that. after the show or you know, not tonight because it's going to be late. But uh, but we should work up maybe some like packages and uh, I could I, you know, put them on the sponsor page at the very least. Sure. Yeah. You know, I think that'd be great. Because like you, you mentioned the you could do a bunch of YouTube spots. We should work up like 
package for that, and I think you get yeah. a lot of people to well, do now. Something... Do you do the do you do like the intro, the intros, and the and the the exit stuff on there too? A little bit They'll of do whatever, and you know maybe we could work up a way to have that in a, as a package. Yeah. A little bit of After Effects. We I oh yeah, myself I get... in there, but you know. So we're on the Adobe Creative Cloud, so we have post production services. We can do After Effects. We can do you know, if you need logo creation, here's here's what I'll say. We are not a creative services company. I don't I don't want to muddy the waters. Uh you know, if you need a logo branding, a whole package to create your company, you're going to go to a place like a, a Chrome or a North Coast or an Archetype or those types of companies are going to handle your branding package. Or I'm sure Excel does that and Red but Shoes a, does you that. Have a pro- you're a production engineer. Correct. Yeah. We we will help you produce the content. We aren't necessarily your complete brand manager. Now that being said, we work with a bunch of those people, and if you need help with that, we can definitely connect you. So the the best thing I say for people to do, get in touch with me, let me know what you want to do, and I'll help put the right pieces in place to make it happen. Okay, and where do they do that? Uh, the best way is to reach me by phone, 920-272-0148, or you can also email our team, rentals at cccp.com. And we have that stuff up on the ideasbyelliot.com website? I am pretty sure we do. I'll have to go double check. We definitely do, because this comes out in November. It, uh, hey, <laughs> thanks for catching me on the thing I fixed. I corrected you on yesterday. So it better be there now. We, we better fix it now. <laughs> yeah. no, there's no excuse. This like I don't know if afraid. I remember my it password to that page. Uh-huh. Yeah, you might need to reset you me. You got to use LastPass, brother. Oh, uh, LastPass. That's is great. that this some is by Apple LastPass. thing? No, no, it's not. That's one pass. Oh. One, one password. One password. No, that's uh, not Apple either. That's Android I, well, and Mac too, or and Windows too. That's true. That's oh, yeah. true. But it's not it's as very bi direction. Last pass last pass rules. They just got bought out by Log Me In. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Log Me In. Yeah. I mean, so they're a big deal. They're gonna be around for a while and yes, they are. totally cross platform. And guess what? Free. Free fifty free. So that means that they're Boom, collecting data about me to no. make money. No, so oh, the way they make they go. make money they make yeah. money on their app. So you pay a subscription on your app. But you said it was free. It's free if you don't if you use the web. But if you use their app, which is super convenient and worth it, and it's super cheap. Like, I my, I have two things that I think are worth more than the price of admission, and neither of them pay me, and they totally should. Netflix. They they just raised their price, and I'm like, oh, I thought I was paying more than that already. Yeah, and, a lot of people are getting all bent out of shape <laughs> over a buck. And LastPass. Those are the two cheapest things. Like, are you kidding? You don't get $10 of value out of, out of Netflix? Seriously. My it's 12 kid- bucks a year, 15 bucks a year. I don't even know. It's just so cheap. It, like, if, it, if you can't find, if you can't, you, you get a dollar just by not having to remember your password for this. That's worth a, that's worth a dollar, isn't that's it? Totally that's totally worth crazy. A buck, I guess. Yeah. And you don't need, and you're like, oh, I don't know if it's worth a dollar. That's fine. Use the free one. As a general rule, <laughs> though, I don't like password managers. Oh. Why not? I because didn't either. you like forgetting them? I didn't either. Or you like getting hacked. But password managers, Manager, and here I'll get all techie. You know, you, you get to have you can have a thirty character long password. That's exactly right. And right, it's uncrackable. You cannot crack a thirty character long random password. Unless someone cannot. cracks the they last can't. pass password. No, they oh, look at this guy. They cannot. They cannot because it uses full strength. I don't know. One thousand twenty four bit. I mean, is it like? two-factor auth kind of stuff or can, you can use two thought two okay factor. then i'm in you can use two-factor but i mean th- that'd be super annoying you know it's super incri- annoying. i do that for all my bitcoin because and it, everything like, i love two-factor they don't have a way if you forget your last pass password they do not have a way to recover your stuff that's right you're, it's encrypted you're, toasted. you're done for real that's the end of the story yeah bitcoin did you say bitcoin yeah. we were i didn't Indeed. realize we we're gonna talk about bitcoins well I, it's your show oh no we don't want to talk about my Bitcoin. If you want to talk Bitcoin, we can. I don't think Elliot's uh, – I don't know because we've, we've glazed over once Is your twice, microphone but... really hot? Is that the right word? It's, I don't know. Are you or, hearing me loud? Yeah. I can Is turn me down. Okay. Well, I don't know if like, – I don't know. You sound how... good. He sounds good to me. Okay. So maybe that's just me. That's Do you what need I was more wondering. of you? I can give you more of you. Well, that, I was just wondering. I, I, don't know how fi- I don't know how it ends up on your mix. I'm sure your listeners love this technical discussion about our volume levels. <sighs> They love all kinds of stuff. You know, you ha- you don't know me, <laughs> Mr. Producer. <laughs> I, I'm going to go away now. Bye. <laughs> You're the expert well, on now everything. Mr. Producer's Nick. taking over. <laughs> well, you know, he is, you know what? This is after hours, and you know, I really, honestly, I can't thank Nick enough. Oh, Nick is a great yeah, guy because he's he doesn't get paid for this, so it's actually awesome. So Atlanta, that was that was that was all teaser. No, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome, and we're thankful we're thankful for Camera Corner Connecting Point for being right. here. Right, we had, we just had a twenty minute long ad. 
That was awesome. With, you know, <laughs> shots. <laughs> I didn't even take your shot. I didn't want to start no, slowing I had five shots. Fifteen. Okay, so <laughs> so we're in Hotland, right? And what was the word we were talking about? Twitter. No, 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 no. It started with a C. Complicated. Oh, cooperation. Cooperation. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So you knew the word. You knew it. You were just. That's right there. So the gentleman's talking about all kinds of things that we look for in a social media influencer. He says, but the biggest thing. Is he says, don't be a jerk. <laughs> this is why they never called me. <laughs> he says, you need to be easy to, if you're easy to work with, we want to work with you more. If you're the kind of person that's going to take pictures and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go to your, I'm going to go to like Fiji and I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to share with it, those pictures with you. Then that makes you easier to work with. And he gave an explanation of a, he was working with a, it happened to be the Fiji Traveler and Tourism what you t- what, what? So if I go to Fiji and I take pictures, then I'm easy to work no, with? I, I didn't slow follow down, that. Slow down. Okay, well, okay, we'll come back to it. Slow down. We'll That's about as slow as it gets. <laughs> no. So he was talking about a, a social media influencer that had a, like an all-expense-paid trip to Fiji. And the guy got there, and he turned out to be a real tool. He conveniently got sick and like was at the bar of the beautiful resort and was just drinking himself to death. Oh, okay. And what, what turned out to be a potential big boom for him turned out to be the other way because it's now I'm going to blackball him. He's never going to work in the industry again because now I have to produce for the Fiji travel travel and tourism board. I have to come up with somebody. This guy wasn't it. I got to bring somebody else in to do what this guy was supposed to do. He says, you need to, what I was trying to say with the Instagram thing is that if you make yourself approachable, if you say, you know, not only will I come, You know, you can use the pictures that I take as assets for your social media assets. Sure. You need to make you need to be approachable and make it be easy to work with. Don't be a jerk like this other person. Okay. So I'm gonna try to summarize what you said. Summarize it. Don't drunk tweet. Bad news. Uh (laughs) and I've never done that because I've I've had to run Twitter accounts for businesses. Oh not. You no, you, you know you've measured seen, you've, twice, cut once. Right. That's a that's a very good rule. <laughs> that should be going well, through your head. Well, we've seen multi-billion-dollar companies send out some really stupid stuff, and then right. had to go backpedal, backpedal, oh, backpedal. Yeah. Oh, but that didn't work so well. Yeah, and be a good. I would say be a good. Uh, I don't know what the proper term is now, but be a good citizen you know be a good yeah, good steward you know just a, a steward if you're dealing with brands right you know uh but uh just be be real i don't know i mean i i can't see being uh it's just a picture <laughs> like i don't know pictures have become so like nah, you know not a big deal anymore so like that particular example like like not allowing your pictures to be used my god of course i want them used absolutely you want to have, want them used. well some people have instagram following some of them have you know some of these people here had like you know 20 30 40 50 thousand instagram followers And I mean, that was just one example that they used, making yourself be approachable, making yourself easy to work with. I mean, don't say, well, I need to have the top accommodations and you have a thousand thread count sheets on it. I mean, there's some people who have just like this big long list, you know, like Van Halen. I want to have all the, you know, no, no, but you know why they, you know why they did that. So to make sure they read the contract. Yeah, sure. That's exactly what it was. Um, He knows everything. So it's, it's amazing how many pictures you probably see on Instagram that might be sponsored. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a huge, they want it to be grassroots looking, but it's very, very. I'm sure the tipping point for that came when that billion dollar check came from Facebook. Oh. People are like, oh, this is a real thing. There's a lot Boom. of zeros here. Yeah. There's a lot of zeros yeah, here. So it's not going to go away. No, it's not going to go away. No. It's not going to go away. So I'm, I'm available to go travel anywhere. I still got some vacation days left. So there. that's really what you were trying to get across. Mm-hmm. Like, I would actually like to go to Fiji. Because <laughs> I'm like, I also would like to go to Fiji. Just give me enough notice. I got to redo my... Oh, no, I can only do it in January. I got to get my I passport only, renewed. I can, I can only go in January. I want to take my sweetheart, though. I don't want to just like... She can come myself. with us. That's cool. Yeah, you just invited me along. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's see, coming. Did you see how that happened? <laughs> bring your sweetheart. I'll bring mine, and we'll be great. We'll get we'll perfect. Get. That would actually be super fun. Oh, that would totally actually, you know, that would be quite a reach to get those four Twitter accounts or those four Instagram accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Go to Fiji. 
Whatever. Oh, so oh, you're saying this combine, should be a whole thing. If we combine those four accounts and start Just placing, go. that's a lot of reach. See, see, he's always thinking. Absolutely, the producers so, all business. Mr. All the producers time. all business. He <laughs> goes back to the agent. I need an agent to who, who I, I think can. Think we my already way. negotiated my thirty-two percent cut, and I said twenty-five. I thought it was like twenty six point two. What Nick, I was. If you and know I what, said twenty five. You can't. You don't get to undercut me. What is up with that? Why not? <laughs> I'm paying for your show. Oh, extortionist! This is wow. This wow. is what it's He's come twisting to. Twisting your arm. It's, this is it's come to extortion. My gosh. Okay. So I, I I'm sorry. I no, this is fantastic. I We're completely. Great, side, this is a great. I, I can't com- believe. I completely sidelined Fiji, Atlanta. I don't even know where you this left me- off. I can't believe we've been talking for almost 10 minutes, and it's, it's like gone like... <laughs> <laughs> this is great radio, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All three of our listeners were, are just on the edge of their seat. What crazy talk will they come up with next? And now there's that air. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> oh, here is the national anthem. And fuzz. So... All right, so I'm on uh, TommyTRC.com. Yes. And there's all sorts of buttons. I know. Isn't it great? Talk about one of the other buttons. Okay. So let's see. Let's, let's, let's see. So you got, you got a Twitter. You got an Instagram. You got a YouTube. I do have a YouTube channel. Yeah. So so talk about the YouTube. YouTube. We so said that's where I started doing the videos for my kids, and that's where the whole Tommy Log idea came. And then pretty soon someone said, well, are you going to do like a little intro? And I said, well, I don't know how to do an intro. I don't know how to do After Effects. So where'd you get that? Oh my gosh, I went to this website called Fiverr.com. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah. It's fantastic. So, so a Fiverr guy did that for you? <laughs> I totally. Well, see, I had a, so okay, it cost me like 20 bucks for the whole thing. I had a Fiverr guy design me a logo. I got like three rounds of, uh, I had three rounds of edits on it. He designed me a logo. Okay, that's good. I didn't care. You know, it's just a, it was just going to be quick and dirty. And then I. Then he's like, can, uh, can I give you a 3D animation version of it? No, I found a different guy to do a 3D animation. There's like hundreds of them, and you just find the animation that you kind of like. And for five bucks, he'll do the animation. And for an extra five bucks, then they'll give you the HD version of it. Ten bucks, that's easy. PayPal. And it was done in like a two days. I mean, Ahmed over in uh, wherever he happened to be did it, and then it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, okay, all right. So a lot of ground covered there. So do you feel a little bit guilty about that? Why should I feel guilty? I don't know. No. Because people do. Because they're taking our jobs. Taking whose jobs? I don't know. You, I, don't I know. have no idea where he was. I, I can't know. tell you he wasn't from uh, Nina. Okay. You don't know who, where he was? No, I have no idea. I've no. done Fiverr projects. I, no. I, I'm not. I'm not, Whatever. I just got we're, we're just talking. I just got you a, don't have to cut, cut me down, Nick. No, no. I just got, <laughs> like, I just got a, like a, see, I had like a little uh, um, Excel macro cr- created. By but you think guy. that's okay? It has to be okay. Yeah. It's a free market society. Thank you. All right. I mean, to be honest with you, if I wanted something to my specifications, if I wanted, you know, the, the, the presentation, the whiteboards, I would have gone to archetype. But I probably okay. also would have been out 1500 bucks. Okay. Or we could do what Steve Jobs did when he asked for the next logo. Did you oh, hear about he, that? He went to, to Rand. That's right. And yeah. you know what he told him? He said, it's going to be $100,000. You're going to get one logo, and you're going to like it. And if you don't like it, that's the end of it. Yeah. And it's He's, 100 grand. And he said, yes, sir. And that's right. And Steve Jobs <laughs> said, well, he, he chased after him for years and years and years. And then pretty soon he said, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. 100 grand. Six zeros. Yeah. Whoa. And it was a good logo, but oh, I yeah. don't know. Like, mm. Right. <laughs> okay, five zeros. Sorry. 100 grand's got a five, five zeros in it. Um, yeah, so I did the intro and the extro, and then I just edited them in iMovie. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah. Great. I love it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Retina Mac, the whole thing. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you can't do that on a PC. <clears throat> he's not listening. Mr. Producer's on. Oh, he's not listening at all. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm just choosing to uh-huh. ignore that uh, uh, okay. comment. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Any, uh, so, all right. So, you are Tommy TRC everywhere. I am Tommy T. That's the one thing. If I, if I go onto a social network and... I you give type out in your Tommy Skype? TRC and I know <laughs> if I know it's if it's uh, if I if the Tommy TRC is taken I know that I created it. That goes way back to the AOL days. What was your AOL screen name? Uh, what I was not on AOL. You were never on AOL. Uh, I I think like I was maybe on AIM. <clears throat> right. Well, but what, I don't even know what I was. See, this is going way back because AOL back in the early yeah. '90s he had so, to have a screen name. You know, and I wanted like, mine. So I was never uh, what you know. I, I was. Ne- serve. I was never about um, 
that, like just finding random people online. No, 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 no. So like there's people that remember like off the top of their head their their aim and their ICQ. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their well, ICQ com- was a big long their number. Their CompuServe and CompuServe was a big long number too. Oh, yeah, huge. You know, so like I don't – I was on all those uh, – everything. But I don't remember any of those. I don't remember those numbers. My God, what? No, no, no. no. CompuServe and ICQ. <laughs> I way. would have used LastPass if it was available back then. <laughs> well, see, because the, the whole thing boils down to is AOL, when I got my screen name – Tommy, and then my initials, it's stuck, and then I yeah. use it everywhere. So now it's everywhere. So yeah. if anything slash Tommy TRC and it's not me, I call you Tommy impossible. TRC, and that's perfectly fine. I'm yeah. okay with like that. that's that's. Someone like, asked me why I don't have Tommy TRC license plates, but I just haven't. Got, I haven't been in that vein yet. That's not well. That's it's. Uh, as soon as I get an agent, as soon as we sign the deal on the agent, the well, send the contract. Is the contract over? Is it over there? It, it is, and I, yeah, uh, and I I decided because Doc, we're signed? because we're friends now. Mm-hmm. Um, thirty five percent is good. I'm good with thirty five. You know what? Every time you bring it up, it goes up. It goes up a couple percentage <laughs> points. He's see, a business guy. See, I'm thinking twenty two point one. I think. Well, how much is it in the in? If we have a movie deal. You're we're, getting 10%. We're, already, we're, we're talking we, movie we're, deals here? We, now we are now negotiating a movie deal. Where this is, is this being produced and shot? Um, I I can't disclose that because of the mutual non-disclosure agreements oh, yeah. that we it's already signed. Oh, yeah, it's the NDA. Yeah. We just signed it DocuSign right here. We just yeah. did it right here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, so much brand dropping. <laughs> <laughs> are they paying us? If any of them are, you owe me something. If DocuSign and LastPass are paying us... Then, uh, so that means you have to use. You're gonna have to up what you're paying us so because we gotta give Nick the, a cut now. <laughs> well, how are they gonna? Do you have keywords? You have to put all the keywords in the, so that they can find this. So they can find it. They're paying us. No, you know, typical podcast. Hey, use offer code blah 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 so that they know that. that oh, you find, yeah. Use offer code last what? pass is great, Leo. <laughs> Mr. So, producer. All right. You so, listen to lots of podcasts. All right. So I as my as my agent, I will uh, Okay, we can agree on three point five percent. That's totally good. Three point five? Three point five? I will give I you love- three point five percent of every dollar that comes in the door. And I mean we're talking millions. Right Is this now. retroactive? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> This is like okay. the jerk. Remember the All right. Glasses? So you had nothing to say about your YouTube other than that you, you farmed everything out to India. Good job on that. I uh, did not say it farmed it out to India. I said <laughs> I, put it on, I put it on Fiverr, and I have no idea where they live. Some of them are in the United States. I know they are. But you know his name is Ahmed. Oh, I made that up. Really? <laughs> I have no idea what the name is. It was done months and months and months ago. <laughs> okay. So uh, it could have been Fred, for all I know. So we think Twitter's dead. I don't think Twitter's dead. Is it dying? I don't know. I, I, I don't know how they're going to make money. So they really got to figure out their 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 money. I think that's the sponsor, Their pricing model. They got to figure that out. I, I don't know. I don't think it's dead. I mean, I'm not selling my Twitter stock yet. Do you have Twitter stock? Did you really? I do not. Okay. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any stock like that? Any tech stocks? I don't. You don't have to tell me like what. I wish ones, I had bought Apple stock back when it was nineteen cents, That's, nineteen bucks a share. But yeah. I keep kicking myself every time my dad calls. Yeah. Hey, how much Apple stock did you buy back in nineteen ninety seven? Thanks. Dad. Yeah. Did you see my car, Dad? <laughs> There's actually a really cool website that says if I had if I had spent this amount on Apple stock at instead this time, of Apple products, right? Yes. I know. I know. I want to punch it's, myself in the face. It's depressing. It's totally depressing. It's, well, it's it's inspiring because I'm like, I love my Apple products so much. I would I never trade that for the $5 million that I would have right now. <laughs> I know, right? All right. So I think it's time for uh, the second sponsor. You got another one, right? Yeah. I uh, So I do have Release Wire back. Release Wire. Yeah. Um, and it's connect.releasewire.com. Good job. I was just going to ask you if your battery died. <laughs> so the very first sponsor read that we had for Release Wire, as soon as I, as soon as I went to uh, bring up the information that uh, that they sent me to read, his Apple all day battery had died on him. <laughs> My laptop died because I, you know, because he didn't plug it in because it's an Apple and you don't have and to. And I was working and I was processing video using my eight cores and it was amazing. So. Uh, what I would like everybody to do, because I have lots of listeners who are about entrepreneurism and marketing oh, yes. and all this stuff, right? You can set up a free profile on ReleaseWire. 
And they send it out all over the place. I think they said, I'm going to get the number wrong now because I don't have my notes in front of me because I'm trying to keep notes for my guest and my sponsor. From release to results, releasewire.com. Yes. So it's connect.releasewire.com, and you can set up a free profile there, and they're going to spread that all over the place. And they have sent out press release services for like 95,000 companies and organizations across the country. They are based right here in Green Bay, and... They work everywhere. How great! I, how great an idea is that? Yeah, it's amazing. It's good for them. And uh, you can follow them on Twitter, and you can see some of the work that they do. You can follow them on Facebook, but all that stuff. Much like Tommy TRC, who is a marketing genius, you can go to uh, releasewire.com, and you can find all their social network stuff. Follow them, but most importantly, set up a free profile there and uh, see where that takes you. And, and you know what? You should send me a tweet. And let me know how that works for you, and let me know how, how awesome that is. Uh, at Elliot. Thank you. Yeah, so you can uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Elliot. Since I have Mr. Twitter here, i got to pit my Twitter. For the record, that's the first time you've released your Twitter handle on the show, I think. <laughs> oh, why do you keep it a secret? It's not a secret. It's <laughs> Twitter's dead. <laughs> we had that discussion last week, too, or on... I don't know if that's last week or earlier no, this week. Well, I mean, they're in trouble because they switched CEOs like 17 times. And I know they are. You know, they're, so, they're in no, trouble. and you know what? And uh, I say that, but uh, Release Wire, they have a whole bunch of different Twitter accounts that you can follow for specific categories of press releases. So if you're in a certain industry and you're looking for content to retweet, you're looking for content to share somewhere else, you are looking for. <laughs> I, I just got to. I See, I can't have screens. Someone text messaged me, and not, it wasn't Robert, so I can't even implicate <laughs> Yeah, we, we should set the stage for the listeners at home that you do have a laptop, an iPad, an iPhone. Yeah. What else is going and on the in there? No, the, well, is, that's not I've enough. <laughs> that Logitech this is mouse a, is huge. This is a kick-ass mouse. So it's a game, anyway, it's a gaming mouse? You know what? I really, totally I, I think that I think ultimately what, what re- release wire would like and what I think is going to be the biggest benefit to everybody listening, if you have a company or... An organization, you should go to connect.releasewire.com and set up a free profile. I think that would be amazing. Boom, shock You just have to click on add my company, I think, and you're you're in, you're in and you go. So thank you to Release Wire. I'm thrilled that Dan replied to me as quickly as he did, which was not quite quick enough because of poor planning on my part. Uh, thank so, you, Release Wire. So I missed him for an episode. So uh, thanks, Dan. I really appreciate the uh, – I know he doesn't listen it, so. He might be listening. I don't know. I, you know what? I know my mom listens now, which sort of freaks me out. <laughs> yeah? Well. I, does she listen or just only when she was here? Well, so did so did you listen to that? So <laughs> so she talks to Aaron. And she's like, yeah, I only listen to one. And, and then she's like going into the whole story of like my ex-son. And she's just like, what did I get myself into? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like I I think she was like looking for the exit sign. She talks about the Justin episode, of course. <laughs> Which uh, you know, believe it or not, is not the I I, I don't like I don't want to like call out any anybody to the negative, but he's not the lowest listened to show. And I really I really you know I don't think very highly of my brother, so I did just call out to the negative, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> just kidding, Justin. <laughs> Justin Laser. Oh my, my brother's last name is Laser. Laser. Yeah. Laser. That's kind of weird, isn't it? No. Let's see. Okay. I'm hearing something. Something's going on with the headphones. I'm hearing something coming in and out. Is it clicking? Know. That's clicking on you. Not a clicking, but I'm here. Like I hear like a little. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I hear something. Yeah. No, I don't hear it. Yeah, that's mine. That's all right. I it's have to the beat cord. It is, and it's a beat beats cord, and it got bent somehow. Huh. Yeah, I know. I got them before they were owned by Apple. That's interesting. I think, I skull think. candy is much better, I think. I have skull candies, and they are better. I don't know what they're it is. They're way cheaper. I have had the best customer service out of skull candy. I had a, really? a cord. And an, and my are they paying son, us? And my son was... <laughs> it could be. Ryan, Ryan's sister is like a big wig at skull candy or something. What? Yeah. For real? Yeah. Well, then maybe they should be paying us. I didn't know that. Yeah. I can talk to people at Skull Candy. Oh, well, you didn't, what? You got to share. Well, you here's the customer service thing. So I was all expecting my, my son was wearing my Skull Candy headphones yeah. at the computer and he starts, you know, kind of like gnawing on it. Da, 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 yeah. And it ended up cheesing the cord. Okay. Right. So I was all expecting to spend 10 or 15 bucks for a new cord. I called him up, said, This is what happened. They said, Mr. Clifford, we'll take care of it. We'll have one what? in the mail. And like three days later, a new one showed up in the mail. And I said, Well, how much do I owe you? 
And I said nothing. I said, you know, I abused it. It's not. And it, they said, we'll take care of you. And that was that's, a, that's amazing. Yeah. It's a totally great story. I didn't try to do that. I just ordered one. And, it, you know, it was probably five bucks on Amazon or something. I got a replacement for my my other one. And that wasn't because I broke it. I think I think I lost the cord because they come off. They're detachable. All I right. don't know if they still put it on the box, but they used to be really going after, like, the extreme sports market. Yes. So they had the extreme warranty, like, oh. right on the box. And really? if you sent oh. them pictures of your broken skateboard with your broken headphones, they'd send you a coupon for, like, 60% off your replacement. Boom. Brilliant. Is totally, that not- brilliant. <laughs> totally brilliant. Totally <laughs> brilliant. Totally brilliant. Because, you know what? Beats are super expensive, and I'm embarrassed about how much they cost, right? Yeah. And, and I hear but, the quality is just horrible. No. They're they're decent quality. They sound good. I but like they're the, Bluetooth. They're a little bassier. Uh, well, they're Bluetooth or corded. Yeah. Corded probably sounds better than Bluetooth. And, uh, well, the cord doesn't break. <laughs> yeah, there you are. <laughs> so anyway, that's my uh, that's my very in-depth review of that, right? Right. So, all right. So uh, how about if we, what do you think, what, th- what else is, Im- it, what else is interesting about Tommy TRC? Um, like, talk, what, who was Tommy TRC before Twitter? Oh my gosh, that's a good question. <laughs> well, like, did you exist? I sure did. I haven't really changed. It's just been another outlet. I think more people know about me, so it's not like you know. I still, you know, I still spend time in the community. I still, you know, did church service. Da, 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 da. It's just now that when I do those types of things, I talk a little bit more open and, and open about it, and a lot more people know what's going on. And so, I'm the same funny guy I was before. Now I'm just funnier with a little bit. A little more amplification in with with the microphone and with, with other things in there. Right. So that's it. That's it. That's totally that's it. it. There's so really there was nothing before Twitter. Hmm. It was just a mainline. So just dead, dead air, dead yeah. air. Um. Remember we were gonna do the uh the like the the cell phone the cell phone uh, addiction clinic the cell phone addiction clinic. <laughs> Ooh. With but my, then we with found my that Palm Pilot, my we Palm, my do, Trio we, Six Fifty. You, know you know what? We were gonna do we were gonna do fake ads because Ooh. so I don't know I don't know remember yet who so the, the who came up with the idea. I jeez was that episode? It was three early with Trisha. It, probably that makes sense. I so if I remember correctly, uh, it was mentioned that you had a cell phone problem. <laughs> And I then I think Gina off mic probably <laughs> said something about the clinic. And then I'm like, we should make a fake ad. Right. That'd be great. And then you went and found sponsors, I like know. legit sponsors I right know. away. So we never Ruined had a chance it. to run it. Ruined it. Ruined Speaking it. of cell phones. Yeah. Have you ever seen a BlackBerry Passport? No. I is saw the, one in the that island. The, yes, that, that's the, the, the big honk. Is that the Android one? No, it's not the oh. Android one. It's still running uh, BlackBerry, Blackberry OS. Yeah. Um, but it's enormous. It's got a four by three screen. But it's got a full, oh, not a full yeah. keyboard. It's but like it's, the square one. It's enormous. And I saw one in the wild. It's like, oh, wow, there's why Sasquatch. Why do that? I don't know. And I had to stop her and I go, like, Whoa. You know, I, I mean, had to take a picture of it. You're an it. Apple I fan. Take, I'm an Apple fan. I didn't fan. have a selfie with it. I, I understand why people get Androids because they're cheap. But why would you get something else? Like Windows Phone, BlackBerry. Like, uh, I'm sorry, why? I I have no idea what problem a Windows Phone solves. I mean, I, so I appreciate Windows, okay. and, and I, but the whole ecosystem, there's so no developers. Ecosystem is perfect. Developers is perfect. So, uh, you know, whatever. We're old, right? Uh, do you remember the Amiga? Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, you say oh, sure, yeah. like that's a, a oh, yeah. Commodore no, Amiga. Absolutely. No, nobody listening knows what I'm talking about. But, was it a com- but, wasn't it a com- yes, Amiga Commodore? Yes, and yeah. it ruled. Oh, yeah. It was way better than everything else, and it was way cheaper, better. and everything, everything was good. And it but, did graphics, and it did all kinds of cool stuff. But... Uh, well, oh, for my business, I need this application. Oh, for my creative world, I need this. And it's not there. Right. And it died. That's exactly right. And so, like, we did that already. We showed that mm-hmm. really there can only be two platforms. Right. You know? Uh, or, or, I mean, your platform has to have a place anyway. Right. And I don't, I don't know what the place is for this thing. And, like, oh, and as soon as people are like, no, you don't understand, it's better. And it has, it, everything's better. It's more integrated. It has all this stuff. And I can plug it into a screen and a keyboard. And now it's a full computer and full PC. And I'm like, okay, who wants that? Like, we all have, we all have phones because we. I mean, I had a Windows mobile phone, Microsoft gave me one and I'm thinking to myself okay I'm going to give it a fair shake so you know I, I download you know this this and the OS is kind of smooth it's kind of nice but Instagram was in beta there was a beta version I mean I've had Instagram on the Apple device for since ever since day zero right since day zero and this is in beta and I'm thinking to myself okay no developers none of this well where's this app 
Mm-mm. or Snapchat. Mm-mm. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, what problem is this solving? None. This is causing me, this is actually doing more hurt to the ecosystem than good because now the developers who could be making money in the iOS or an Android world yeah. are now are now being spread thinner to come up with this kind of stuff. And thinking to myself, yeah. but there's no last password. The whole world's going to fall, come to a screeching halt. And I thought this was just, it was the horror of the earth. It was the worst thing ever. Yeah. It really was. And So you, you got one? Like they gave you a review here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one and it was just horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. Yeah. I and I understand. I understand the fanaticism. I understand. I do too. You know, and and like, oh, it's better. And I feel that way when people talk about the new uh Android du jour, right? You know, they're like, Well, you don't understand. The iPhone is only eight point seven gigahertz and this is eight point eight, so therefore it is better. And I'm like, uh, uh hold on there. I I don't think that matters. No, it doesn't matter. Because those any of those small differences in, you know, whatever RAM and storage and processor, whatever, right? The apps completely That's a red that. herring. That's a total red herring. It is. Especially now. I mean the Galaxy I mean, Note five's got four gigs of RAM. Yeah. And then everyone goes, Well, this has got four gigs of RAM. I was at the Sprint store just looking at one. Huh. Well, this has got so much more RAM than iPhone. I go, yeah. yeah, but what are you doing with it, dude? I don't even know how much RAM mine has. <laughs> I mean <laughs> like, I I f- iPhones before the six S have one gig of RAM. It's right. like well, it's what you do with it. It's it's right. it, it's a controlled environment. It's yeah. the whole test tube thing. Um But like even the Blackberry, Blackberry had the world. They had the world. Kind of like Eastman Kodak. They had the world. And what happened to it? <laughs> it's completely gone. They fell asleep at the wheel. Yeah. Right into the yeah. bridge embankment. That well, so it, so in their case, they they were trying to protect protect their sacred business, right? Oh, their, yeah. Their film business. And they're like, this other stuff, if anything, is a threat. So we don't want to threaten our own business. Well, you know, then somebody else is going to do that. Oh, they blew it. They absolutely blew it. And that's how I feel about Twitter. You think they're blowing it? I do. I feel like uh, Facebook is like, you guys are, we're just, they're just taking it. They're They're taking their lunch. They're like, it's there and we're taking it. Now you've got them because Facebook's got the messaging app. You've got all kinds of. They have their own messaging app. They bought WhatsApp. They bought Instagram. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember who else they bought, but they're like, they're, they're using their, they're, they're using their lead to set the distance like incredibly. Instagram is bigger than Twitter. Which is, which is remarkable. Eight guys came up with that idea. Right. Well, it's it's never it's never the idea; it's the execution. That's exactly it, right. No, you're ideas right. are bullshit. They're just you there's know. a swearing. So there it is. Now now we have now this is <laughs> now this is NC seventeen. You know what? I actually don't think that should be a swear word. A cuss word? No. I, not. Because like that's the word. I, what, what like what's the polite word to use for that? Bull crap. Yeah. See, I mean, it's like this. It's the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, so, I, I yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't, I don't right? Know. Sure. Not. Oh, it's nonsense. That's nonsense. That's that's malarkey. That is just malarkey, malarkey. is probably mal, malarkey is probably close. Yeah, nonsense is a little weak though, right? Because you want to be. It's not just about the the swearing. It's about like the the intensity. The intensity, right? Right. Intensities. Intensities. Yeah, I know. Thank you. What album is that from? <laughs> is that from an album? Yeah, that's it. This this intensities. Intensities. Oh. Oh, yeah. intensities. I just thought it was a Wayne's World joke. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right. We're off the rails, and we're, oh, we're at a, uh, an hour 11. Yeah, you are. Okay. How did we get, we were just at 10 minutes, like I'm five sorry. minutes ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poppycock. It's the 20-minute sponsor spot. That's what it is. It, it wasn't, we didn't go 20 minutes, because it wasn't fair. It's a Ted Nugent you know, album. You know, oh, probably. Intensity. That, that I just sense. Googled it right that here. Intensities. Intensities. I believe that you Googled it. I believe that you know how to use the Google. And it's in, it was a Wikipedia okay. right now. All right. You know what, though? I do want to, I did want to go through the, uh, the, 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 the list. So I have questions I want to ask you. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of going with this. And like, I've got answers. But the, the, and these will go fast. No problem. All right. This, I, I even label it rapid fire. All okay. Right. No problem. Favorite football team? Uh, Green Bay Packers. Favorite entree? Ooh. Veal Parmesan. Ooh, nice. Fancy. Favorite dessert? Ooh, chocolate cake. Favorite show not your own? Breaking Bad. Mm, excellent choice. I I believe that's the greatest show of all time. I think so too. I could I could come back and we could have an entire Breaking Bad because I watched my wife and I we binge watched the whole season. One night we said we're gonna it's New Year's Eve. We're getting to the end of it. We're just gonna go to bed at like ten o'clock. We were See, up till two thirty in the morning, the first night. I could talk about I could talk about that show. That show is just so beautiful, exquisite. Yes. 
Oh my gosh! Every <laughs> we're, when all those guys meth, got stabbed, meth dealer show. We are when, calling when, it beautiful and exquisite. When all those guys, remember when they orchestrated all the stabbings, and you see the yes. see the oh. yes. Oh, the cinematography, amazing, delicious. Yes, the pizza and flying on the, the roof. Writing, I, they're, 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 oh, the whole they're, thing, the whole thing, they're brilliant. Oh yeah, the bad episodes are better than most. Good, yeah. Anyway. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I mean, we should talk about plus, that for an hour. Who knew that an ATM machine was heavy enough to crack someone's skull? Who knew? You didn't well, even know that. I, I, I knew, but I can't tell you how I know. All right, <laughs> current movie that uh, you think is awesome. Oh, current movie that I think is awesome. Oh gosh, and you know, sort of current. Doesn't have to be like. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've really in the, seen it in the movie theater. It just has to be. It's been a long time since I've been you know, to a movie theater. Because the next question, I should do it reverse. So, like, the next question is favorite classic movie. Favorite classic movie. I love say anything. Oh yeah. That, okay. And uh, okay. So then, current movie, something newer than that. Uh, last one I saw was the last Mission Impossible movie. Okay. That was pretty delicious. I think it's weird that you say Santa thinks a classic movie, but it totally is. It's from the 80s, right? I know. <laughs> it was either that or like Ferris Bueller or something like that. Right? Uh, see, we call those classics. That's, oh, yeah. Uh, it makes me ill. Uh, <laughs> Caddyshack. That's closer to a classic to me, you know? It's right. like, at least it's getting into a different decade. Um, favorite recent book? Oh, gosh. I'm reading one right now about Area 51. It Sweet. Is, it is so delicious. Just all the behind the See, scenes. See, I should be able to fi- get Audible should be a sponsor, right? Because I, I could totally the, do the Audible thing. This is there Audible. Go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, favorite singer? Ooh. I'd probably have to say Getty Lee because Rush is my mm. favorite band. Oh, see. Mm. What are you going to say, Daily Roth? <laughs> because those are the only two choices. <laughs> Who's your favorite singer? I, I don't know. I don't okay, know. This Glass is not, this Night is, in the Pips. This, this, it's not about you. This, this, is, right. my, this, this is, right. is my show. Favorite band? Rush. Okay. See, that's, I mean, usually that, I think that mm-hmm. goes hand in hand. Uh, favorite social media site? Right now it's probably Instagram. I love going on Instagram. Favorite person to follow online? Gary Vaynerchuk. We already talked about that. Okay. We did. Yeah, okay. Gary V. Absolutely. Okay. I think he's spectacular. He's pretty good. Uh, and when you come back, to not talk about Breaking Bad, because I think that'll be a separate thing. Uh, but when you come back, who would you like to, you'll be guest hosting, so maybe you'll be on this side of the table. Yes. Who would you like sitting over there? Oh, gosh. And That's then you have to help me get that person. <laughs> <laughs> or not. Or not. It doesn't have to be Oprah, but that would be good. What about Aaron Rodgers? Uh, I'm well. He's scheduled, but you know, whoever. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. He's not scheduled. But um, everybody says that, so that's sort of like the, the yeah. go-to. Aaron you know and Olivia are like the top two. You know what about Lisa? <laughs> Olivia? We could get Lisa's girlfriend. Red shoes. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows who his girlfriend is, but they all say, "Oh yeah, Aaron's girlfriend, Olivia Munn." Yeah. Yeah. No, I know, but who said that? Like Did somebody say four that? people. Several people have so, said Aaron Rodgers' girlfriend. Okay, so after about forty-five minutes on the clock, there, that's when the drinking affects me. Does it? Yeah, you know, and they're. Even they're though ten- you haven't had a, you've only had like, oh, you had the whole bottle. It's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't had the shot yet. Well, I mean, it was a big bottle. That's true. It's a giant bottle of some sort of um, mass quantities. Of you dropped the name of what you were drinking. It was uh, oh yeah, that's right. some that's right. Asylum that's right. thing, some Babel whatever, or something. whatever. You know, uh, yes, I, I I think somebody did Asylum say Olivia, Ale. but I didn't. I, multiples really? I don't. See, I guess they just kind of lump them together. You know, right. I'm sorry. Okay. You know who we want? We want Lisa Cruz from Red Shoes PR to speak to us. That would be perfect. I think she would be great. She's she hilarious. Would be great. She would She's be absolutely great. spectacular. Yeah. That's easy. That's easy peasy okay. lemon squeezy to make well, that happen. Well, it, it could be a reach goal. I mean, something in between. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just teasing you. Oh, David Duchovny or somebody. <laughs> that would be sweet. Okay. I love him. You see, you see Californication? No. What? You'd love that. Really. If you like Breaking Bad, I think it's different, but you like it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Should we uh, roll that track and get the hell out of here? We can do that. We got Kurt Gunn with My Home. Ooh. Nice. I didn't even have to remember that. He doesn't trust me. Doesn't trust me. It's been 45 minutes. So, Tommy. Thank you, Elliot. This has been spectacular. This is easy. Just talking. We're just talking. I love it. Well, you know, (laughs) I probably could have been better. (laughs) Just wait. Just wait until Sue hits the cutting room floor. (laughs) Nothing. Not alone. Cause you are here with me Whatever on I'm on I can't forget your face Oh, the kin I love so strong So keep them safe